In a powerful display of NATO's commitment to interoperability and long-range firepower, the British Army's Archer self-propelled howitzer moved into position at the Ravajarvi training area in Rovaniemi, Finland, on November 18, 2024. This event was part of the larger NATO-led exercise Dynamic Front 25, which runs from November 4 to 24 across multiple countries, including Finland, Estonia, Germany, Poland, and Romania. The exercise emphasizes NATO's ability to integrate artillery systems across vast geographical areas, ranging from the Arctic to the Black Sea, while ensuring precision and speed in high-intensity operations. Dynamic Front 25 showcases NATO's advanced capability to synchronize artillery fire missions, share real-time target information, and exchange operational graphics, underscoring the Alliance's ability to deliver lethal long-range fires in a joint multinational environment. The exercise involved over 1,800 U.S. personnel and 3,700 troops from 28 allied and partner nations, reinforcing the strength of NATO's unified defense posture. The British Army's participation in the exercise was highlighted by its use of the Archer self-propelled howitzer, a highly mobile and automated artillery system. The Archer, mounted on a 6x6 chassis and armed with a 155mm-L52 gun, represents a significant upgrade to the UK's artillery capabilities. Developed by BAE Systems, the Archer is known for its rapid-fire capability, precision, and reliability. It is capable of firing a variety of munitions, including the Excalibur GPS-guided shell, which has a range of up to 50 kilometers. In 2023, the UK Ministry of Defence invested in 14 Archer systems, acquired from Sweden to replace the aging AS-90 tracked self-propelled howitzers. This acquisition is part of a broader strategy to modernise the British Army's artillery units, focusing on improving mobility and firepower in response to the increasing threat landscape in Europe. What makes the Archer particularly valuable in NATO operations is its fully automated loading and firing system, which allows it to fire multiple rounds within seconds. This enhances the system's battlefield effectiveness, as the Archer can quickly shoot and scoot, delivering devastating firepower before moving to a new position to avoid enemy counterbattery fire. Exercise Dynamic Front 25 highlights NATO's growing reliance on advanced artillery systems for joint operations. The British Army's deployment of the Archer Howitzer underscores the Alliance's strategic focus on maintaining cutting-edge artillery platforms that enhance both lethality and survivability in diverse climates, including the Arctic. The training area in Rovaniemi, Finland, situated within NATO's northern flank, is an important location for simulating combat in challenging environments, emphasizing NATO's ability to operate effectively in the harsh conditions of the Arctic. The exercise is also an opportunity for NATO to reinforce its deterrence capabilities. By integrating advanced platforms like the Archer Howitzer, the Alliance is sending a strong message about its preparedness to respond to any threats on its borders. Moreover, Dynamic Front 25 provides valuable operational data and lessons that will further refine NATO's artillery doctrines and improve coordination among member states. The overarching goal of Dynamic Front 25 is to demonstrate NATO's ability to respond decisively to any potential threats, ensuring the security of its member nations. As the exercise draws to a close on November 24, the participation of state-of-the-art systems and multinational forces emphasizes NATO's readiness to face evolving challenges, especially in contested regions like the Arctic and Eastern Europe. Through exercises like Dynamic Front 25, NATO reaffirms its commitment to collective defense, showcasing its capacity to deliver effective, synchronized responses to any threat, anywhere in the world. The lessons learned from this massive multinational exercise will serve as the foundation for future cooperation and refinement of NATO's artillery tactics, further strengthening the alliance's resolve to protect its members and maintain peace in an increasingly complex global security environment.